For example, if we look at the P wave, we said the HM does what? It depolarizes, and what happens during depolarization? We get this upstroke potential, right? We get that upstroke potential, and eventually what happens? We get plateau, we get the initial repolarization, influx of calcium, right? So we get, let's draw it properly. like that. So what I'm trying to do is to match ventricular repolarization and depolarization with what we are seeing on the electrocardiogram. So remember when I was telling you about the depolarization at the resting membrane potential of potassium initially? When we have that influx of sodium inside the cell, what do we see? We depolarize the muscle. And when the muscle depolarizes, you get that upstroke potential. And then we get an efflux of potassium, which is repolarization. We can't see that on the EKG. And the next is the influx of calcium. What actually happens in this stage when you have the influx of calcium into the cell happens over here after the ventricles has depolarized. So when the ventricles depolarize, right, it takes time for them to contract. What happens is that is the plateau phase. The plateau phase is when the ventricles are depolarized after the QRS complex. Then the calcium actually has to go into the cardiac myocytes, go through the uh, sarcomere, right, and eventually bind to the troponins and the myosins to cause contraction. Once the, once the muscle contracts, it relaxes, but by that time, ventricular repolarization has actually happened, and then the ventricle repolarizes. That's how you actually connect this to what you're seeing on the EKG, on the EKG. What we're going to do next is actually now focus solely on cardiac electrocardiograms and actually be able to figure out how do we approach reading EKGs. How do we approach e reading EKGs, especially this is a very challenging topic for students when they're approaching how do I read an EKG? How do I approach this? What do I need to know? I'm going to go over that in more full details when we talk about the P waves, the PR intervals, QRS complexes, ST segments, T waves, QT intervals, and even U waves later on. And we're going to talk about EKG leads and also axis. Thank you very much for watching. So I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.